Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the real values of x that satisfy this algebraic equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by looking at these two terms in the denominator. Now, of course, you know that this can be written as 3 to the power 2 times x squared. And this can also be written as 3 to the power x squared squared. Because you know that to remove this bracket, all we do is to multiply these two powers. And 2 times x squared is equal to 2x squared. So by writing this in this way, we haven't changed anything. Now, in this case, when you look at this exponent, you will see that we have a common factor, which is 2. So this can be written as 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2x divided by 2, of course, is x. And 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. This can also be written as 3 to the power x plus 6 squared. Because once more, just as in this case, to remove this bracket, all we do is to multiply these two powers. And of course, when we multiply 2 by x plus 6, what we get is 2x plus 12. So once more, we haven't changed anything by writing this in this form. Now let us look at this numerator. We can write this as 3 to the power x squared plus x plus 6. Because of this addition, we can write this as 3 to the power x squared multiplied by 3 to the power x plus 6. Because remember that when we multiply two powers with the same base, all we do is to add the exponents. And of course, x squared plus x plus 6 is going to give us exactly this. So once more, by writing this in this form, we haven't changed anything in the numerator. Now, notice that here we have 3 to the power x squared squared. Here we have 3 to the power x plus 6 squared. And then here we have 3 to the power x squared multiplied by 3 to the power x plus 6. This is this and this is that. So if we call 3 to the power x squared a and call 3 to the power x plus 6 b, then this is now going to be a times b and the left hand side of this equation is going to be this is a times b divided by in this case we have a squared plus in this case we have b squared and of course the right hand side is still going to be equal to 1 over 2. Now, to simplify this equation, the next thing we have to do is to cross multiply. And when we do that, we have that 2 times AB is equal to A squared plus B squared times 1. That is A squared plus B squared. Let us rearrange this equation. We have A squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 0. Now, the most important thing that the study of mathematics does for us is it trains us to recognize patterns. When you look at this, you will immediately see that this is the expansion for a minus b squared. Because when you expand this, you get this left-hand side. So now what we have is that a minus b squared is equal to 0. When we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that a minus b is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we can conclude that a is equal to b. But now, remember that 
a is equal to 3 to the power x squared and b is equal to 3 to the power x plus 6. And notice that since these two numbers have the same base, we can equate the exponents. And when we do that, we have that x squared is equal to x plus 6. Rearranging this equation, we have that x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 6 that add up to minus 1. Now, the factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Since this is negative, the larger number has to be negative because 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we have that this quadratic equation can be factorized as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 is equal to 0. And of course, you know that this statement simply tells us that either x plus 2 is equal to 0 from where x is equal to minus 2 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 from where x is equal to 3. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this equation are x equal to minus 2 and x equal to plus 3. Now let us check our solutions. Now when we substitute x equal to minus 2 in the original equation, we have 3 to the power minus 2 squared plus minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3 to the power 2 times minus 2 squared plus 3 to the power 2 times minus 2 plus 12. Now minus 2 squared is equal to 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. So in the numerator, we have 3 to the power 8 divided by minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. This is 3 to the power 8 plus minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. So this is 3 to the power 8. Now, of course, we have 1 3 to the power 8 in the numerator and we have 2 3 to the power 8 in the denominator so this is 3 to the power 8 divided by 2 3 to the power 8 and of course this can cancel that to give us 1 over 2 which is exactly what we have on the right hand side so this value of x satisfies the original equation and when we substitute x equal to 3 into the original equation we have 3 3 3 and 3 3 squared is 9 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 so this is equal to 3 to the power 18 divided by 3 squared is 9 9 times 2 is 18 plus 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 12 is 18. 3 to the power 18. Once more, we have 1 3 to the power 18 in the numerator and 2 3 to the power 18 in the denominator. So this can be written as 3 to the power 18 divided by 2 times 3 to the power 18. Of course, this can cancel this to give us 1 over 2, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the equation. So the second value of x also satisfies this equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.